Hey guys, I know you've probably been wondering how you can make your computer faster, even if you don't know anything about it. Basically, what you can do is pretty much get, uh, stop startup programs. Startup programs are the worst. Basically, what they do is once you open up your computer, all these programs like start up, and that really slows it down. Stop those from happening. You can look up how to do that. I don't know how to do it personally because I've never had to deal with that problem. But even if you don't know anything about computers and you want to make it super fast, here's what you do. You buy what is called an SSD, or what stands for a solid state drive. Solid state drives help your computer go extremely fast. Or depending on how old your computer is, upgrade the memory, which also means RAM. RAM stands for random access memory. Just to, you know, make you not so confused. But anyway, these are tips on how to make your computer a lot faster. So, a solid state drive is the most efficient way to get your computer to be faster. And if your computer's a lot faster, obviously that's a lot better. So, I'll show you what a solid state drive is. Solid state drives are about the size of a pack of gum. I'll show you how to install it right now. This is the demo case that I'm going to be using to show you how to install a solid state drive and the memory. I just took all the panels and the parts out just to show you how to install it. It just makes it a lot easier. Now I actually have two solid state drives and they're taped right on top of each other. What I have done is I've taken the bottom solid state drive and screwed it on to the adapter of it. You should do the same too. And what you want to do is slide it into this bay right here. If there are screws that require it, line up the screw holes and screw it in. If you don't want to move your computer around, that's fine. You can just leave it in, leave it unscrewed. Just uh, just don't move it around. It could wobble and stuff. Now I have a modular power supply, and what that means is I can uh, plug and unplug the cables that I need. This is the SATA power cable that I'm going to be using in this video. It's just for demonstration purposes only. This should look like the end of a SATA cable. There should be a little keyed spot to the left. Now remember, I have two solid state drives, so you're only going to see one of these if you install them. Basically, with building a computer, or just installing any part, if they don't fit, it's not meant to be there. So basically, just plug it in, and if it fits, then it works. Basically, you install a SATA cable like so. Line it up, and you simply plug it in. Just like that. It should snap in, and that's how it should look. The same goes with the SATA cable. You take this end, simply fit it in. Don't be afraid to push hard. And the same goes with your motherboard. You take the end, Put it into place. Perfect. Now if you want to install memory, it is extremely easy. You see these things? You want to put them open. This is how you do it. Just like that. Do it the other side. There you go, you're ready to install. Now installing is easy. You see these lines right there? This is what I'm talking about. You want to line that up with this. Once that's lined up, stick this right there. Same as the other side. Stick it in right there. Here's the top view. Basically what you want to do is push down on one side that side is closed, push down on the other side pretty hard, don't be afraid to push down hard until it's locked and that is how you install RAM, very very easy
Now before I end this video, I recommend talking to your local tech person or a friend that knows a lot about computers or something to check for compatibility. If your computer can be compatible with any of these, then you're good to go. Most, actually in fact all solid state drives support SATA 2 and SATA 3. It's different versions of it. Yours might support SATA 1. That could be a problem. And make sure to check for memory compatibility. There's different types. There's DDR, SDRAM, DDR2, and DDR3. They are all unique. For example, let me just get my RAM. See this? This key thing right here is different on different memory. SDRAM is two of them. They're right here. DDR2 is more here. DDR is right here, something like that. But anyway, just to make sure, I recommend doing this yourself. It is a lot cheaper. It saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of money too. I highly recommend it. If I can do it, then you can easily do it. Thanks for watching.